Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a beer, it's time for some part of XL discussion. I wanted to do some discussion of first impressions of the Scourge League, its mechanics and the like, uh, and I want to start by showcasing an item that I got very early in the game. So, you know the very first one that you get on the beach from uh, when you very first start in the Twilight Strand? Uh, I turned it into this with the Scourge mechanic. Uh, you'll see it's got that 10 to 27 fire damage to spells as a, vile, as a special implicit, and it also has two to three fire damage to spells as an explicit. What happens is when you scourge an item, it then goes and becomes alked by the process. And so that alked and it also got the scourge mods on it and wound up really good. Let's do the sound ramparts. This will give a sense as to how the league mechanic flows. And I think you'll see that it's a, it's a smooth, it's smooth. There's a, a couple of uh, wisdom scrolls dropping together. Seems like every currency up to and including alteration orbs drops in clusters like that. So we're just going to punch through here, killing monsters as we go. I'm keeping my Vile Fireball, uh, and the reason for that is that once the Scourge Bar gets pretty full, I'm going to jump across into an alternate dimension, and I'm going to then immediately use my Vile Fireball because this dimension is harder. Uh, this dimension is where the Scourge encounters take place. Uh, you can enter it and exit it just by pressing V, and when you're here, you will be, you'll have a couple of things that are going on. There's a lot of sort of complex mechanics that are happening at the same time. So this bar fill, decreases over time. This fills with kills in the normal world, in the normal world, but in the Scourge domain, it decreases with time. Uh, you'll also stack up exposed to corruption when you kill monsters. Uh, each stack of this is both a buff and a debuff. It gives you 1% uh, quantity, 1% rarity, and 0.5% more corruption absorbed by items in your Blood Crucible, which we'll get to in a sec, but it also causes you to take 1% more damage with from hits and ailments from Scourge Monsters. Now, in terms of that Crucible, uh, you'll see here that I am working on a Leather Belt. This Leather Belt is just a Scoured item. When it matures, uh, which will be during this map, during this zone, uh, that item will also end up being Elked and it will be Corrupted. That's what I did with that very first uh, one that you saw, and it turned out pretty well, I think. Uh, so now that the uh, now that the uh, bar is full, I'm just going to jump over to the Scourge Dimension, kill a few monsters, uh, no real targeting of anything. One thing that's noticeable is that most of the monsters that, you've, uh, that you kill in an area in the Scourge Domain, they do seem to respawn when you re-enter the zone, uh, the re-enter the Scourge Domain, that is. It seems a bit unpredictable where the big packs are going to be there. And I don't know the exact mechanics of monster spawns on the dark side, uh, but they do seem to be back when you re-enter. Re At least that's my first impressions. I could be wrong on that. There could be some other mechanics going on that I don't fully understand yet. Uh, XP in this is phenomenally high. So as you can see, I'm level 61 in, uh, in a level 55 zone. You'd never normally be this high, but there's just so much that you can kill that you do wind up killing lots of it. And now at this point, we interrupt this to say that an item in your Blood Crucible is ready to be upgraded. So, this would be elked and corrupted by this process. However, it's also going to get the effects of various other, of various other effects that are on here. So there's also a 20% chance for it to be exalted. And if it was something that could accept sockets, it would also have a 15% chance to gain a socket and to gain a link. So this is what we got. We got absolute and utter rubbish this time, but that's fine. We simply drop it on the ground and we grab something else that's ready. You'll start picking up scoured items a bit in this league. Uh, it's been my experience. I'm, I'm always happy to, to pick up scoured items and just uh, give it another shot uh, because that has a lot of potential. If it elks well, I'm going to use it. It's like having un an almost endless supply of essences while you're leveling. And also some of them end up with really crazy other effects on them. Uh, as for the build, uh, the Fireball Ignite build is basically working as I expected it to. Uh, very good damage projection, somewhat squishy, and medium to okay bossing so far. I think the bossing will fall off a bit, especially given that I'm on a 5 link. One thing I wasn't expecting is that the mana issues are substantial and I am needing to use an instant mana flask at the moment. Uh, that's something I want to fix later on, but it's something that we will have to investigate later on when I'm at endgame. 
that's all I got at the moment. Uh, first impressions are pretty positive of the league. I'm enjoying it. And the mechanic has been impactful so far. Uh, it's certainly been the main source of gear that my character is wearing. And I expect it will continue to be as we push into at least yellow maps, uh, which is where I want to be today.